Yaho YouTube, I am Super Ginky, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about globalism. And you might be thinking, Super Ginky, why are you talking about globalism? That's such a polarizing subject. I didn't come here to listen to you talk about globalism. Well, YouTube, it's really only polarizing if you allow it to be polarizing. And I'm not here to do that today. I'm here to tell you about what globalism taught me when I was in Barcelona. Because Super Genki got a thick head. It's really, really, really hard to get ideas to stick in here. Because I'm very hard-headed. But I was in Barcelona last week and I learned something. Something that wouldn't have happened if I wasn't in Europe. Because lots of people have ideas about what globalism is. But these ideas are usually not based on experience. They're based more on perception of the world and perception of what you get from the media and perception of what you get from other people. There's no wrong or right in this question. There's just something that I learned that was really cool when I was in Barcelona. Literally on the day that I was leaving back to Madrid, I decided I wanted to go to Park Güell. Like, you know that park that has that like really cool... What's this park called? Jeez Louise. Yeah, hold on, wait, wait, YouTube. It's not Park Gway, it's like Park something else. Let me show you what park this is. Magic. Yeah, it's, it's the Gaudi Park, it's this one. See, look, it's this park right here. I wanted to go to this park on my last day here in Barcelona, but I didn't have any plan. Because here I am trying to be all American, right? I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get into this park. I know like I didn't buy a ticket, but I just want to get into the park. I'm leaving today. And this is one of my character flaws. I usually just show up. I don't really plan ahead. I just show up and I'm like, you know what? I'll see what I can do. So I show up at this park, Gaudi, right? And I'm talking to the people. I'm like, I want to go into the park, but I didn't buy a ticket. It's the slow season. Normally you'd have to wait like days in advance to be able to go to the park. But because it's the slow season, I can get a ticket for four o'clock. My train leaves at 4.30, so I wouldn't be able to enter the park at four o'clock. So I'm thinking to myself, ooh, how can I get into the park, man? Let me just see if I buy a ticket and I go talk to one of the people at the ticket lines and I'm like, yo, real talk, man. Yo, you want to do me a solid right now? You want to let me in? That's something I would have done in America for sure. And I tried to do it again here. But the people at the line said no. Now you might think this is normal because it is normal. It's their job. They can only let people into the park at the proper time. But I did not understand this, right? So I asked one person, he said no. I asked two people, he said no. There was a guy posted at the exit zone of like the group entrance part of the park. And I went up to him and I'm like, hey, you wanna do me a solid right now? I'm like leaving back to Madrid today. I don't have much time. I can like buy a ticket. I can give the money, whatever. I just wanna get into the park. And he told me no. But as where the other two people said no, and that was it, he said, no man, this is globalism, man, and you got to respect the queue. You got to respect people's time. You know, the price to get into the park is so low that everyone can do it. It's only 12 euros, but you have to respect the line. And I hadn't seen it like this before, but in this instance, I was exposed to a new idea about globalism that I had not seen before. And it was only because I was here in Europe and I was trying to be American in Europe with my American ideas and my American sense of cultural identity, just punch a hole through everything. And when he told me this, I was like, wow, I was like smiling when I was listening. I was like, wow, man, that's so cool. I never would have expected to see globalism that way. I really do believe you have to go and you have to see your ideas in reality before you can get real perspective upon them. Like you really have to get out of your comfort zone. You have to travel to a place. You have to see things with your own eyes. Because it's one thing to just think about the world outside there. It's a completely different other thing to actually go and see it with your own eyes. Form your own opinions. And this is so important. You know, I was studying Japanese yesterday and um, one of the phrases was like, Wakaimono which means, don't correct me there, I, I'm thinking I'm saying it right, but I think it means that the most important thing for the young generation now is to be able to think their own stuff. You know, another Japanese phrase is, wakamono wa hayari ni keiko ga 
it means young people are likely to ride the trend. Do you know what I mean? And if you don't see things with your own eyes as a young person, you're going to be riding the trend most often because you have to get perspective from your own mind. And the only way you can get that perspective, I believe, is by going out and seeing things, doing things, putting your ideas to the test and not being afraid to learn, not being afraid to change what you believe in. And to bring it back to globalism, that's what globalism taught me when I went to Barcelona. It taught me how to be more considerate of other people. So if I'm going to travel somewhere ahead of time, I'm going to make plans to see the park ahead of time. I'm not just going to show up and just be like, hey, I'm here, let me in. I'm going to go and I'm going to do my research beforehand. Because you can use an idea, you can use a concept, you can use a moral in a way that's going to positively impact your life. You just have to be willing to actually go out there and learn how to do it. Anyway, YouTube, that's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Likes really help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm really trying to get to 100,000 before I'm 25. 24 right now. Don't got a lot of time left. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.